Through it, afflictions are lifted, blessings descend, and mercies are elicited. It is the du'a, the essence of worship, and the door to goodness and happiness. And there are etiquettes for making du'a. From them is the Tawheed of Allah the Exalted, which means to make du'a to Him alone and with sincerity to Him in supplication. Eating the good and halal food and wearing the good clothing, facing the Qibla and raising the hands, with presence and alertness of the heart and with certainty in the answer. Praising Allah the Exalted before the du'a with what He is worthy of, sending salah upon the Prophet wasallam. Invoking Allah by His beautiful names and lofty attributes, with excessiveness and urgency in the matter. Concealing the du'a and not speaking out loud. Being positive in the du'a and having strong certainty. Not rushing the answer. And among the matters that help in answering the du'a are seeking the virtuous times and places and appropriate conditions. And among the various times, the time of dawn, the last third of the night the last hour of Friday and when it rains, when hearing the Adhan and between the Adhan and the Iqama, and among the virtuous places, the mosques in general and al-Masjid al-Haram in particular, and among the conditions in which du'a is answered, the du'a of the oppressed, the du'a of the traveller, the du'a of the one who is fasting, the du'a of the compelled, the du'a of a parent for their child and the du'a of a Muslim behind his brother's back. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Du'a is worship. Then he read, And your Lord said, Call upon me, I will respond to you. Indeed those who disdain my worship will enter hell in humiliation. Surah Al-Ghafir, verse 60.